Anthony Vargas is a 1.64 million couple YouTuber who has a friend named Bella, but they used to be boyfriend and girlfriend until over a year ago. But they are taking care of their son named Noah. Okay, so now that this introduction about him is over, this is what this video is really about. And if you haven't checked his social media accounts recently, this is why. Anthony recently posted on Instagram and Twitter that he is boxing on March 4th, 2023 this year in a few days. And I didn't even know that Anthony has been training for boxing before. After I read the announcement, some people who once again have to voice their dumb nothing burger concerns about online stars boxing kept on whining about it. After I STKGBG official says, where has any of the promotion been for this? Like, seriously, why you expect to keep a fan base and drop here and there? Like, okay, first of all, you gotta try to spell and like a and d don't put the letter n in your sentences also the fight's already been promoted they posted on social media a few days ago and on youtube a few days ago so it's not like you expect that that they're supposed to promote it like every month or every week leading up to the fight. The promotion is already there. That's all you see right now. It's only been a few days since they just promoted it. To remind everyone that the fight is on March 4th, so I don't know what your issue is. Your issue is a nothing burger and you shouldn't have to complain about it. These two boneheads say, embarrassing to the sport in WWE, just completely disrespectful to the sports, SMH. The big reality is that we live in a world that we have to evolve with the, the changing times of today. And this happened all the way back in like 1940, 1950, 1960, 1970, 1980, 1990 even. We have evolved not only as a species, but as as citizens of, of wherever we live over time, because technology continues to evolve so that we can have better lives. Therefore, sports gets to evolve so that everyone can have the equal amount of entertainment that they received, that they came here for. And for you to say that it's, oh, an embarrassment, or that it's disrespectful, you're the one who doesn't like to change. You don't like to evolve? Okay, fine. Don't evolve. Don't evolve with the changing times. Don't, like, do anything that that includes it but other people would prefer to 
be evolving. So instead of complaining, get used to it. Fuck all this shit. Stop this tag team shit. Nobody wants to see this. Why are you so mad, dog? Yeah, dog. Why are you mad? Why? Because... Because there's tag team and boxing now these days? Or are you just mad because... You don't like to see people who are on the internet who have been training for boxing for about at least six weeks. Six to eight weeks. To go and face off with their other competitors. And if you're mad at, at either one of those things, you need to. Grow the fuck up and get over it. Because this tag team shit is happening and there's nothing you and your whiny voice can do about to stop it. You can't. And if you don't want to watch it, then don't watch it. Yeah, the Who's Anthony Vargas? Who the fuck is Anthony Vargas? Like I said seven minutes ago, he is a 1.64 million couple YouTuber. Very poor content. And the price hike is an absolute joke. Have to cancel subscription. Shame as seemed we like we were going to get decent fights for a fair price. What happened? The sandboxing. Listen, I don't know if you already knew from the very very beginning, but you see. Businesses are supposed to, you know, have at least a large amount of money. And the only way that a television business let me rephrase for that. A boxing television business like The Zone needs to make money is to not make the prices lower. Why? Because there's a thing called pay-per-view. And just like you UFC, You have to pay for pay-per-view for the zone. And if you want to watch the UFC on pay-per-view on your cable system, you have to pay for it. So on the zone, you have to pay for it on pay-per-view. If you're going to create an account on the zone, you're gonna to have to pay for it to actually use your disown account if you want to watch the fight on youtube on disown's youtube channel you're gonna have to pay for pay-per-view pay-per-view isn't cheap like i hope you understand that why would disown make this trash on March 4th when John Jones is fighting that same day and the UFC 220, 285 card is killer doubt 
anyone will be watching this garbage instead of USC fights. Dude, you can literally ask the same stupid question about ABC and CBS and Fox and say, why are these three networks airing college basketball on the same Saturday or Sunday of the year? You can only ask them that. And I'll tell you what, just for the sake of your brain to process, because it's called competition, okay? And when you have competition in television, you're supposed to compete for viewers or or the ratings. Ratings, yeah, that's where ratings. And what these television networks would do is to pick pick a better strategy, and their strategy is to compete with their with their competitors. And that's what this is. At the end of the day, if the zone wants to compete in the sports world, in the sports television of things, then they have to compete with the UFC. All right, so go learn about television competition before you make this comment. Once again, it is not a disgrace to boxing. And it's not disgusting that it's the same as the tag and switch. If you're saying that's disgusting because he said that someone could be getting battered in their corner and their partner could just tag in and the ref rakes it up. That's not disgusting. As for people like this, Mikey left them, who claims that why don't you give an upcoming boxer a chance instead of You know, these beginners. Well, I hate to tell you, but they are more professional and they are up to coming boxers too. I want to smack the zone so bad. They are just disrupting our sport. Enough is enough. Come on, Eddie. I want to put you in your place. Okay, this guy really wants to be arrested because of the fact that he said he wants to smack the zone employees for literally doing their job and wants to put Eddie Hearn in his place, which counts as a threat and this guy is about, I say, is in his mid-thirties, having two kids. Before all the viewers come in, no one is making you watch. This brings more eyes to the sport, and don't comment if you don't like it. Yeah, see? This guy gets it. Like, come on. If you don't like these online stars boxing because they have been trained for at least six to eight weeks, don't bother watching it. And don't bother commenting on social media polls about it. Just ignore it and move on with your lives. That's all.
Real boxing fans are allowed to have opinions on this. Trash. If you're a real boxing fan who agrees with this guy's stock shit take because you think in your perspective that online stars boxing ain't real boxing, then you're uneducated. Any type of boxing is real boxing no matter what it is. By the way, Ice Residen is his partner, and I know people who hate him are gonna say, why is Ice Residen still getting a platform? And if you are one of those who do say it, just stop now. He already learned his lesson, he already learned from his mistakes in the past, so you need to let that go already, motherfucker. You're getting too old for this the nonsense that you have once viewed about him, move on with your life. Good luck in the ring, Anthony, because it has been already proven that online stars boxing is real boxing, and you will dominate this shit. So give it all you got.